we can come all the way to the Shanghai show without showing you some of the clones that are on display here this year. And I'm going to kick things off with an absolute beauty. It's called the Lamb Wing, and I'm going to give you, give you about three seconds to work out what it is. And I don't think you'll even need that. There it is in white. Um, yes, that's right. It's the Range Rover Evoque clone. We've got a lovely lime green one over here and one over here finished in sky blue. I have to say, it is absolutely shameless. There are clones that are kind of on the edge and have elements in different cars, but this one is just an absolute, absolute dead ringer for the, for the Evoque. If we take a look inside, it's quite interesting. Pretty nasty. Uh, those leather seats look quite well used. That wood um, looks like something from a sort of 1970s dressing board. And that screen, well, it's big, but I doubt it works. Well, at least it's cheap. To be honest, I'm not quite sure what this thing is, um, but I think they might have cloned the G Wiz. Why on earth anyone would base a car on the G Wiz? I do not know, but this EX concept seems to take its inspiration from that infamous two-city, uh, two-seater electric car. And you've got to see this absolutely beautiful piece of um, advertising there with the robotic dragon on the bonnet. Really, they are admirers of the booming British car industry over here in China because I've just spotted this and yeah, I won't give you long to guess what it is. It looks exactly like a Range Rover, except with a few choice details like some beautiful chrome de detailing on the front grille. Very nice indeed. And sitting next to it, well, this is an old one, this. We've, we've seen this car a number of times. Um, called the L5. There's definite hints of, um, of Rolls-Royce, sorry, in there. The perfect car for a dictator, I'd say. At that moment, when you can't decide if you want a Ferrari F12 or a Porsche Cayman. Well, don't worry, because Eagle, a Chinese manufacturer, has come up with the solution. And here it is. It's simply got a Ferrari front end and a dubious Porsche rear end. And the badge, well, you've got to take a look at that because I think a certain manufacturer from Stuttgart might have something to say. I think I'll leave it there. Just one final addition to our clones gallery then. And believe it or not, it's not a Chinese manufacturer. It's actually Lincoln, which is one of, um, one of the Ford companies. It's Ford's luxury arm. Uh, this is their latest concept. It's called the Continental. And I think you'll agree, it's pretty much a spitting image of a Bentley Continental Flying Spur. You can see these uh, rear wheel arches and the way the bootlet uh, wraps around. The interesting thing about this is um, uh, Luke Donkervolt, the head, head of design for Bentley, actually went straight on Twitter when he saw this car and called out Lincoln um, saying, how dare you copy my design? And now I've seen it in the flesh. I think he might have a point. The Chinese manufacturers will let them off, but Ford should have known better.